Hey, it's me, Dr. Seabro again. Oh, sorry, I'm having another fight with an old donkey like grandmother, and it's going to be a fucking mess to record. Ah, uh, sorry. This story is from a dick Bruno wrote in 1959, and it's about a farm. Do you know what is this story? Now, let's go to read it. The bird. Once there was a yellow bird, not small and not too big. He often whistled little tunes out of his bright, bright red beak. And flying round and round and round, he saw, what would you say, a puppy? Just as black as suit, who in his basket lay. The little bird cried, Hello, dog! And once again flew round, and then he swooped as quick as quick, and landed on the ground. Where am I? asked the little bird. Is this the place for me? Oh, yes, the dog said. That it is. This is a farm, you see. <laughs> Look, Bert, there's the farmer's wife. She's walking over there. A red scarf knotted round her neck that covers up her hair. And do you see the little hands? <laughs> they each have eggs to lay. Only the cock, who lays no eggs, struts proudly on its way. And there are also a lot of cows that keep on saying moo. Ah, uh, look, birdie. Here's one of them, and coming our way too. And look, a sunflower over there. Perhaps you know its name. The sunflower said, Oh, little bird, I am so glad you came. <laughs> this fatty is a little pig. Yes, bird, it's really true. You see it from his curly tail, and from his pink nose, too. And there you see a haystack, a huge great pile of hay. Thanks, cried the little bird, for all the things you've shown me today. And then they saw a farmer with cheeks, all red and round, and with his pipe between his teeth. A man whose health was sound. Then said the pretty yellow bird, Now I must go away. But if you like, dear little duck, I'll come another day.